be limited to the system. You can imagine that if you know something, everything remains in your head and you don't necessarily implement it, don't necessarily disseminate it, that knowledge is going to go uh, when you hang your boots. But that is not the objective and you will find in ICT generations of teachers, ICT has been in existence for the past 81 years or so, generation of the teachers have contributed to the scientific understanding of the technology, different parts of technology. And in the recent past, you will find that there has been a major support or a major emphasis in understanding and mathematically modeling these particular processes. As mathematics also gets developed, the, the expression of the phenomena, physical phenomena or a technological phenomena finds its expression in the form of mathematical equations and the solutions of that give us not necessarily the scale-up criteria, but during the solution itself, you may discover some phenomena which is essentially to start with ease of mathematical origin, but then you try to find out the physical meaning of that particular phenomena. And most of the time you do discover it and that results into new innovations and results into the discoveries. So I'm so happy to see the, the total constitution of this particular FDP. Uh, you have given a, a generous uh, representation to all the branches of uh, uh, mathematics, but especially the clear focus that these mathematical tools and techniques can be used or are going to be useful for the attendees uh, uh, from in the field of science and technology. I can't thank uh, Professor Lee enough uh, for accepting our invitation and giving, uh, deciding to give this keynote address uh, to set the ball rolling or to set the tone of this particular FD, FDP. Uh, I would like to welcome you all on behalf of ICT for this FDP and I hope you have a very productive session and you continue to practice what you learn and also to disseminate what you learn to your students and to your collaborators. Thank you very much again, and I wish all the very best to this FDP program. Thank you, Professor Bhavmik, and thank you, Professor Kumar. Thank you, Karkar. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. These words are like really valuable for us, and, and uh, thank you very much for the generous support that you have always provided us. And uh, now uh, we have the, this keynote talk, and I would like to request our faculty member, Dr. Vikram Aithal, to introduce the Professor Sanguli. Although it does not he does not need any introduction, but I think uh, it is a customary. Thank you. Please, Dr. Vikram. Uh, hi. A very good morning to everyone. As Professor Parker said, this is a beautiful morning to start with this FDP. And uh, it is my pleasure and my honor to welcome our keynote speaker for today, Professor Sangu Lee from Sungkungpan University in South Korea. Professor Lee has been uh, an active mathematician and an active researcher for a very long time. He finished his PhD from the State University of Utah in 1991. And over the years, he has served as uh, served mathematics in various capacities, including as the Dean of the College of Sciences at the Sungkung Kwan University. He has been the president of the Korean Society of Mathematics. He, has, he is currently also a board member of the Korean Society for the History of Mathematics. And he is the chief editor of the Journal of the Korean Society for Math Education. Apart from all of these services, Professor Sangu Lee, has also been very actively engaged in research. His research interests include matrix analysis, computational mathematics, uh, history of mathematics, mathematical modeling, and what might be very relevant to all the participants here, the use of technology in math education. This is also an extremely important part as we move into a new era and as we have experienced in the past two years, the use of technology is going to be extremely, extremely important. Apart from his uh, other activities, Professor Sanguli has published over 170 research articles. He has got two patents to his name, 
and he has also authored and co-authored over 30 books. In fact, uh, two with our very own Professor Ajit Kumar. So Professor Sankuli also has a, a very nice history of collaboration with ICT. Uh, in fact, he visited ICT way back in 2014, back in the more innocent days before COVID. And we hope to welcome Professor Sanguli back to ICT in person very, very soon. And uh, till that happens, we are very happy to have Professor Sanguli with us today. And as uh, our Honorable Vice Chancellor said, he is the absolute perfect person to set the ball rolling and to set the tone for this faculty development program. So it is my great pleasure to welcome Professor Sanguli to tell us a bit more about mathematics in machine learning and artificial intelligence. Professor Lee. Thank you very much for your kind introduction. Yes. Uh, I, uh, uh, I really appreciate for your kind invitation uh, on uh, FTP program at ICT. And I had a very good memory of Mumbai and ICT and the Elephant Island that I visited. <laughs> and today, yeah, I'm gonna uh, share my experience of uh, mathematics uh, teaching um, uh, of, uh, for uh, machine learning and AI with uh, the math sage mass. Okay, I like uh, I like to share uh, the my presentation first to start with. Okay, uh -huh. okay, yeah. Today I'm gonna talk about mathematics for AI and uh, machine learning with the uh, uh, sage mass for about forty uh, minutes. Okay. Um, yeah, why we uh, are talking about mathematics for AI and machine learning? Mm, uh, if I, we, when we looked over the, uh, the activities and articles uh, on mathematics, uh, uh, including a math summit uh, over the last uh, recent years, uh, then we can easily find uh, the keyword uh, of uh, job creation and artificial intelligence. And what then, what and how uh, to uh, teach in the era of artificial intelligence? That's our uh, uh, problem to think about. So, what is the mathematics in AI is the problem that I have had. And I found that three main uh, branches of mathematics, uh, such as linear algebra and calculus and probability, uh, is uh, the mathematics that we uh, really uh, uh, support uh, for those who have an interest in uh, AI. So, and also linear algebra and calculus and uh, statistics are the subject that we often teach. So we uh, should be very well prepared to do, go one step further. And then next uh, step was how to teach and learn. And I found uh, it is uh, uh, math for AI is possible uh, if we uh, do uh, mathematics with the coding, yeah, because we are dealing with the big data and large size matrix. So we need, uh, if we need the code uh, to deal with the mathematical uh, object uh, with the uh, uh, the knowledge of mathematics, then uh, we can uh, really do uh, something uh, in uh, mathematics for AI. So I have uh, worked on uh, uh, on that uh, strength, and uh, I wrote some articles, and I wrote the textbook, and etc. And uh, as, uh, these days. Yeah, we uh, realized that there has been a big changes in um, a learning environment over the uh, 20, last 20 years. In Korea, uh, in the year 2000, uh, there was a kind of initiative started to uh, innovate 
the learning environment at the universities. And uh, we, uh, including myself, uh, the members, committee members, introduced and designed this lecture table at Songjungwan University in uh, the year 2003. Uh, now, uh, this lecture table uh, are quite popular in all over the world. And uh, I got uh, the award from the Minister, Minister of uh, Med, uh, Ministry of Education of Korea uh, in 2004 for this contribution. And I introduced uh, what uh, uh, we did on uh, developing uh, this lecture table and in this article, which was published in 2005. And uh, actually, since then, uh, uh, it's almost 20 years ago, over the last 20 years, uh, the learning uh, has been, uh, learning, uh, teaching and learning method has been changed dramatically. And nowadays, the smart learning is, uh, is, uh, is, is quite popular. This is a, a YouTube uh, lecture that I uh, captured. And here the elementary student, school students are using 40 tablets at elementary school, which is in, in, a, you know, in a box uh, with, uh, with uh, charging abilities. And this uh, is uh, the picture that I took at the Samsung campus. Uh, uh, and Songjungwan University, the board, uh, Samsung Electronics is a board uh, a member of Songjungwan University. And we often uh, visit the Samsung campus uh, to teach and uh, to learn. Uh, and this is, the, this is uh, about 50 uh, netbook, notebook uh, in, in a carrier. And this is uh, uh, charging, the battery chargers of this. So we don't have to uh, bring anything, just go there and take one notebook and do work and uh, use, uh, replace the battery uh, to keep working uh, in uh, lectures and seminars or whatever. And these, uh, these, this documentary was taken in 2013 and this is the photo that I took in 2008, already uh, 10, uh, 15 years ago. And nowadays, uh, AI is everywhere. AI is all around uh, you already. And uh, a, uh, you can, we can easily see AI secretaries. Uh, well, it, it's, uh, since uh, 2011, April Shiri was the starter. And then uh, we have a, a bunch of the AI secretaries. And the smartphone that we all have uh, has uh, our secretary in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, these days, the smartphone are making all the differences. And uh, uh, mobile and uh, phono sapiens, uh, uh, phono sapiens is, uh, is getting more popular. More, we, somebody calls the, the young generations uh, uh, phono sapiens. <laughs> okay. And, and I have had the interest on. Uh, mobile uh, mathematics, doing mathematics with a, a smartphone uh, and code. Mm -hmm. And then why? Why mathematics education uh, is uh, uh, for AI is needed? Because AI wants our students in the job market. Uh, few, uh, there are a bunch of future jobs uh, that a student like to work. If these are the list of the uh, new AI forms. And uh, so yeah, the, my university uh, offered the school of AI schools uh, 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 three years ago and uh, started to uh, produce uh, the student who has uh, uh, the basic uh, knowledge on, on the area. And uh, for, uh, before we start, uh, what, I, uh, what I have, uh, done over the last uh, 30 years. Uh, then uh, f uh, first I, uh, I checked that I have written some books, started from linear algebra, uh, then calculus, uh, and then engineering mathematics, uh, and some history books, uh, and some technology books as well. Some are uh, e-books and, and free books that all, all can download it. And recently 
I make more uh, free books uh, that everybody can download and use it, and including the mathematics for AI. Mm -hmm. And then who am I? I think uh, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the presider introduced me uh, uh, very in detail, and he must look over uh, my CV quite uh, in detail. Thanks for <laughs> that. And uh, the, the, as he mentioned, I started uh, my career as uh, a mass, pure mathematician, uh, from a matrix analysis. And then uh, I, I had the interest uh, in I, and worked on combinatorial matrix theory and then computational mathematics. And then I become a director of mathematical modeling institute of Brain Korea 20 uh, first. So I started to work on math modeling. Uh, then uh, I also had an interest on the uh, the leading edge technology and also the old histories of mathematics that uh, we are uh, doing uh, every day. And so his, uh, the, uh, and, uh, uh, the reason was the, my interest was on the future mathematics. And I found the mobile mathematics is a kind of the future that we will face on. So I have worked on uh, mobile mathematics for the last 20 years. And recently uh, I have uh, had an interest on sage mass and mobile sage mass that we can do math, so sage mass with a smartphone and then teach uh, those ma teach mathematics with these tools at the college. And uh, it, uh, so, uh, so it all can be done uh, the mathematics teaching of the so all service courses uh, with the coding. So some of those, uh, my experience was shared in the recent articles that can be found in my uh, CV. And uh, the, the, you may have, you may uh, curious how, what is my uh, uh, experience with the sage math. Yeah? And uh, since I have interested in uh, computational mathematics, uh, so I have used the uh, softwares for many years, uh, including uh, MATLAB and Mathematica and uh, Maples and all others, uh, and uh, Java and Flash and things. But, but I found all those can be done with the smartphone. Uh, so when uh, Sage Math was uh, uh, introduced at first, uh, about more than 10, 15 years ago, and I got involved uh, in those developers group, and I used uh, those uh, Sage code in uh, my linear algebra textbook. And uh, one book was published in English with uh, Professor Kumar. And, uh, before I have written uh, the, those uh, uh, books. Mm -hmm. oh, and and uh, then uh, uh, this book, Green Algebra, I mean to say it can be downloaded, uh, this English book, the full colored Green Algebra textbook can be downloaded in here. Then you will see what I have done with uh, Ajit. And then calculus using Sage book was uh, published. So I taught all calculus uh, with uh, Sage code and all the code was developed and shared in this book that you can find in here. And then engineering mathematics uh, book was written with all the Sage uh, in it. With those experience with uh, Sage code, uh, uh, I, so I, 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 uh, I shared uh, those contents uh, on those web addresses, calculus, linear algebra, and discrete math and engineering math and statistics on those web addresses. Okay, and, and uh, I offered the MOOC classes as well. Uh, with this background, uh, the, the president of my university 
one ask want me to offer a course uh, for uh, AI, the, the mathematics. So he want me to teach mathematics for AI. Uh, so I looked over the contents of it and I found the linear algebra and calculus and multivariable calculus and statistics are the basic mathematical knowledge. So I think, and also I already have all the code, Sage code, Python based Sage code uh, developed by myself. So I, I, I had some confidence that I can uh, well organize this for one semester a math course of mathematics for AI. So uh, this should be included and students should be able to do it, but only one semester, 14 weeks uh, is uh, the kind of limit that we have to cover all those mathematics, uh, which is needed uh, to understand the, the artificial intelligence. So it was developed in here and the book was written with all the code in it and you can uh, take a look on here, the ebooks, and, uh, and if there's a, this book is a free book, free that you that all can download it. And this is only one, one US dollar uh, ebooks that everybody can use it in English and Korean too. And he, here it uh, covers the uh, AI and mass mat matrix, uh, including singular value decomposition and the AI and optimal solution chapter. Uh, covers the gradient descent method, and then AI and statistics uh, covers the covariance matrix from the given data, and then uh, the principal component analysis and a artificial neural network uh, chapter covers the principal component analysis and uh, back propagation algorithm in machine learning. So uh, with this knowledge, then they, we, could, we could make our students understand this core of mathematics, uh, which is, uh, the, uh, is uh, necessary to understand the AI and machine learning. And all that can be found in here. And uh, I would like to uh, introduce uh, this uh, slide before uh, I continue before I start. Okay. Okay, here I share, um, I share the web page here. Okay, here, uh, this is my CV and this is, uh, uh, so, so this is the first week content of the web address that everybody can uh, see for free. Week one lecture. Week one lecture of this textbook in English uh, start to, to draw the graph of a function, like the polynomial functions, like this. Draw the, pro, uh, gra uh, the graph of the function like this. This is very important. Uh, this is, and also we can draw not only the degree five, we can uh, find the, uh, any uh, uh, the polynomial of the of graph uh, of the of uh, in graph this is important because we need to find the solution of the polynomials to find the eigenvalues and singular values of a la large size matrix so i started to, to, to teach them to draw the graph of it and like that so they can draw the graph of it uh, without knowing any coding knowledge or any other softwares. All this can be done with their smartphone or tablet or PC or whatever. Mm -hmm. and, and so they can draw the graph of any graphs of polynomial and uh, trigonometric functions and rational functions and the composite functions and exponent functions and logarithm functions, whatever. And what, what they could do this is uh, they can find the solution of the equations that have learned, that they have learned to find the eigenvalues and, eigen, uh, and uh, the singular values of uh, the large size matrices. So I started with this. Then I, uh, this book uh, has the, uh, the calculus part, uh, like uh, local maximum and minimum. Then uh, I own, I'm not only teaching the theory, but also the problem can be solved in here. Yeah, finding the increasing and decreasing intervals. 
if we can do, draw the graph of it, and then we can see where it increases and uh, decreases. And this can be found by the finding the uh, derivatives of the uh, function and solve the equation to find the critical points. Uh, so we can find the uh, intervals of the increasing and decreasing. And also the higher level, uh, the derivatives uh, can be easily found with uh, the simple code that we already developed. So if I teach uh, one uh, example, then uh, the student can solve all the exercise problems by just changing these functions and the conditions. So the student can easily uh, learn uh, the mathematics of linear algebra and calculus without much difficulties. Then they can use those knowledge to find the, the to understand the gradient descent method to find the the gradient descent method how it uh, works and for even for the uh, uh, the multivariable functions the student can easily understand to find the local maximum or minimums and they can find the gradient of multivariable functions of large size, and they can really learn how to this gradient distance method is working with the code that we supplied for them to use. Okay, and uh, okay, uh, okay, I'm going to share it. One more time. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe here. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, let me uh, continue uh, to. Uh -huh. oh, uh, the question is yeah. Yes. Uh, Do you see the screen? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. I will continue. So, uh, so with this book that you can find the, the, the content here, you can download the, the books here and you can download the PDF file of this uh, Korean version book also here for free. And as you see, the textbook was uh, uh, written in this way. When we have a problem, then we have a, a solutions like that, but also I will supply the code here so they can really practice it to handle this problem and also use this code to uh, deal with the, all the other exercise problems of their own textbook of any level. And for the gradient descent method, I, own, I offered the, the code here so they can, student can really uh, practice it and use this code for other uh, uh, problems of the gradient descent method. So, so this course was uh, uh, designed to be easily understood at, at the intermediate level of any student. The student don't have to have a, a, a large size uh, prerequisite. They don't have they don't have to know the code or they don't have to uh, have a, a mathematical uh, knowledge of, of, of uh, uh, because it these are easily can be handled and delivered in the course. Uh, the main content uh, is, uh, of this course is a projection and least square uh, problems and singular value decomposition and partial derivatives and gradient and gradient descent method and covariance matrix and daytime covariance uh, matrices and principal component analysis and back propagation. All these could uh, uh, could be covered in 14 weeks for the freshman student of uh, any college. And th th those are the, the web address of the lectures, the, the web content and lab, uh, which covers the solution of equations and sort of system of linear equations and least scale problems and singular value decomposition, et cetera. And, uh, these are the, the English lectures that I have given uh, on this uh, core of mathematics uh, 
uh, uh, for uh, artificial intelligence. Okay, and this is a PBL report form that I uh, used. It. And uh, teaching and learning method for this, uh, uh, this class, uh, um, uh, recently because of the COVID pandemic, uh, we had to offer this course online. Uh, so yeah, I have done it and the uh, lectures was recorded. And then I used to put, uh, ask the uh, students to make their portfolio to promote the self-learning management. And this is secret and my know-how was shared in this uh, recent paper on a case study of, of an online course on introductory mathematics to AI, which will be appeared, uh, accepted and will be appeared soon in Electric Journal of Mathematics and Technology. Okay, and here uh, the, I have introduced how we can manage and deliver this course to students who can understand the content and to share uh, their, their learning experiences and, and uh, their, the product that they have produced while they are solving uh, the problems uh, of their own and from their own textbook as well. The course management process was like this. It was, uh, the, um, I uploaded the lectures uh, uh, in learning management system, like what you have done it for many uh, years of recent. And students uh, took the, the, the lectures and they made the question and answers in the written board. And then I utilized their activities to, uh, to uh, uh, try to solve the problems of finding eigenvalues and singular values and singular value compositions and gradient distance. Uh, method and finding the optimal solutions and finding the principal component and to find uh, the to uh, learning the back propagation algorithms mm -hmm. and so they can do the amnest data set uh, handwritten letter recognitions at the end with the code and and uh, so I use the, the open problems. Uh, problems for the for our student, so student uh, can uh, modify the problem of the textbook uh, to uh, share their own output. So it really gives a good insight uh, from various background of the majors of all the levels. It really helped it, and all these. Uh, and, and, and also I gave a chance to them to uh, share those experiences as their presentation of uh, their own report, PBL report, problem-based learning report. And that report can be shared, uh, was shared in here, okay? And this is uh, uh, this last four semesters. And also yeah, I learned the same course for the winter semester of 14 days three weeks, three lectures, and students learn, uh, beautifully followed it only in three weeks, uh, even the freshman student. Uh, I may share, I may share that, uh, that uh, PBL report of the students here. Here, this is the 2021 fourth semester, the PBL report of the two freshman students. And they said they've learned this in 14 weeks, including the back propagation algorithms. And they state they learned the uh, mathematical concepts that they have learned. And, and then they said, they said that uh, the, the freshman students said, uh, after this course, uh, now they can do, they can do many things. And these are the kind of the problem, open problem. The student tried to find the Daniel Kim, the student uh, uh, find the, the code here to solve those problems. I think it can be shared in this, uh, let's say it's not in here. Uh, and, okay. Uh, okay. Anyway, here you can, uh, you, uh, you will see, how the, our student can uh, 
can uh, okay this is uh, okay mm -hmm. files from the uh, from the slideshow okay here sample lectures and PBL report okay mm -hmm. I think okay so from this web address you will have a chance to see the, how the freshman student can follow this and the uh, and uh, what the way that I have managed my student to the learning process until they reach the goal of the class uh -huh. and uh, the, my next project is doing go further with this mobile uh, mathematics with the Sage code with the uh, Sage set, so that we can give the code. The, we, if we have a code to to be modified, uh, and we have a data, then we can call those data to learn uh, the our code to produce the analysis of our data with the smartphone. You can see uh, those in uh, this. This is the kind of recent project that I have worked on over these winter semesters. And this uh, all was possible because I teach mathematics, not only by pen and pencil, and uh, with the uh, coding and the smartphone or tablet or PCs. And this experience uh, was uh, shared in these recent articles and uh, the, uh, and it is because it all was possible because I have the English textbook which all the code uh, is in it. So I was able to build up the laboratory so students can use it uh, without uh, any difficult. I think uh, that's, uh, that's about what I uh, have prepared. And if we have time, then I can uh, show you what really was the output uh, with the, uh, the materials of the student uh, that I had produced with my uh, student. Okay, yes. Okay, I think thank you. Thank you for uh, the, the attention and these are the, uh, these are the materials of my freshman uh, student have done it. And if you see, they learn the, uh, the find, uh, solving the linear system of equation to find the whole set of the solutions. And then they learn to find the optimal solutions among those the infinite many solutions. And then, they was able to deal with the large size matrices uh, with the code in uh, uh, in a, uh, the Sage cell servers uh, that I have developed more than uh, five in Korea, and also there is a server in Canada as well. And the students have uh, deal with the open problems uh, after they learn the one, then they could go through it to find the design similarity, then cosine similarities, and to the compare the, the different data, which can be represented in a vector form. And then uh, they were able to find the derivatives and partial derivatives and gradient. And then they could uh, singular value decomposition and QR factorization. And th all those things was done by student, not only small size, but large size as well, because they learned how to use code. So they can choose the large size matrix or higher degree uh, polynomials and complex functions without any difficulties with the same code. So, uh, and also they could practice the random vectors and random matrices. And here, 
and here, then uh, these are the all the codes. Uh, I taught some the student to change it, modify it uh, to, to to go uh, one step further. And now the student learn how to find the derivatives and the tangent lines to understand the gradient descent method. And as you see, the student will to learn the statistics. They know how to find the covariance matrix from the given data. And then they really started to deal with the data to find the principal component to exercise the principal component analysis of large size matrices. All this was possible because they learned the theory with the code and then they practiced the same code for their own problems of their own textbook. Then they started to use it to the new problems of large size and large data and complex functions. And, and we, we discussed, they, they could raise any questions uh, so we can help them to go through it. So they, it was not difficult at all to go through all the way. So this, at the end, at the end, the student went through the, the, the analysis. This is a sigmoid function, activation function, and an artificial neural network part. So we just talk and talk. I just, and they, they start to build up and rewrite the mathematics in their own world to be shared and then uh, make a questions again over the other students until they understand it. And uh, at the end, after the ANN, and then they, the, the, so, so yeah, I offered some problems like this so you can use it for the written exams. Uh, and these are the kind of, kind of final comment after the midterm examination. And uh, this is the brief description of uh, their academic activities by themselves. And these are the final comments after the final PBA report and exam and the presentation. Mm -hmm. So they, they talked, they really learned SVD and gradient distance method and PCAs and then reduction and back propagation algorithms, etc. And so this written, this article, this uh, report was made by the freshman student, college freshman student. And I, uh, uh, I, ha I have experienced the same experience over and over again. I have taught uh, about seven uh, times of the same course uh, for one semester or two months or uh, seven weeks and even three weeks, but still the student uh, I had a good experience. That's why I shared my experience with the content and the way that I have learned it uh, uh, in the, uh, the presentation and uh, a paper. I think that will uh, do it. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Professor Sanguli. I mean, setting the ball rolling, I mean, it's just a glimpse of what uh, this CS math can do. Mm -hmm. and how it can not only uh, help us in uh, learning and doing and researching in mathematics, but also it is a very nice pedagogical tool mm -hmm. for all of us. And uh, so that uh, very nice of you. I mean, in spite of uh, uh, being in the US, I know it is late night. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much for your, your uh, lovely talk. Uh, so uh, participants, maybe if you have a, a few questions, we can we can uh, have, yeah. yeah. So any of you, yeah, any I'll of be you, happy to answer any of your questions. Yeah. And uh, would, would you, uh, I think some uh, participants were asking whether it, uh, you can share your uh, presentation. Mm -hmm. The books are available. Yeah, yeah, I, uh -huh. yeah. Someone asked me to share the web addresses uh, of my textbook. So I showed it. Uh, on the web, uh, on my presentation, 
but also I will give the web address that you can download the uh, textbook uh -huh. here. I can share uh, the web address. You already shared in the uh -huh. chat messages. Okay, here <coughs> you can download the book. Yeah, this is the, uh, okay. Yeah, I can, can, I can share my summary here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, zoom here. Yeah, here. Uh, is, is it too long or too much? Is it too, yeah, if it's too long, it doesn't go, so I make it short. <laughs> so I will give the web address, web address of some. Okay. If you go this address, then you... You, you, could, uh, you could also share with me, and I will put yeah. it in the yes. classroom. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, you, you will see the, the books in here. And okay, if you send me an email that will supply more and more uh, detailed information uh, to you. Yeah, you, you could uh, just send it uh, over to me. I will no. share with all the participants. Uh, okay. Google Classroom. Okay, I will we have created, mm -hmm. We have created a WhatsApp group as well as Google Classroom. So we will share with uh, them. Okay, yeah. Somebody, uh, the, uh, uh, Lakshmi uh, asked me about the Sage Mess with the smartphone. And uh, yes, yeah. Uh, as you see here, what you have seen, what you have seen was uh -huh, here. For example, uh, I made it uh, control all control C here. Yeah. Oh, as you see here, uh, uh, everything was uh, what I made was everything was uh, smartphone friendly. You can see, you can use all those code and content and uh, theory and uh, problem and solutions and code and the laboratory are on the web. So, and you can see it not only with the PC, but also if you try to use a smartphone with the, on that address, you will see everything is working perfectly with your smartphone. So you, in your class, when you teach it, you don't have to worry about any uh, facilities. Because if you, if you teach it, the students will just practice it by themselves. And then they go back to their home. They can do it with their smartphone or laptop or PCs to make their uh, homeworks to be shared. They are much better to use those mobile devices uh, than the teachers now. So it's, so the, what I have done over the last uh, 10, 20 years was uh, all uh, mobile friendly. Songjungan University has a department of mobile devices and department of semiconductors. And I, I was uh, working with them. So all the mathematics that I has developed and tools are all uh, mobile device friendly. Any other questions? I'll be happy to answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oops. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think uh, if there are no questions, okay. uh, let us uh, thank uh, Professor Sanguili uh, for his uh, lovely lecture and sharing his vast experience in this uh, uh, field. Uh, I have had a chance to visit him, and I know he really is working very, very hard to make uh, all these things student friendly. Uh, so thank you, Professor uh, Lee, once again. And uh, I uh, participants, uh, so uh, after this uh, session, we will, uh, we will uh, have next session at uh, 11 o'clock and um, the same link will, will work. Okay, so now I request uh, uh, Dr. Bomik to propose vote of thanks for this. Dr. Bomik, over to you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, before proposing the vote of thanks, I think I'd like to